This week in Louisiana Agriculture. Senator Mary Landrieu leads a fight to protect sugar in the new farm bill, but what's in store for other crops? I'm Avery Davidson with that story ahead. I'm AJ Zabid in Mexico City. Mexico is the largest importer of USA rice, but will the U.S. lose its place in this market? I'll explain coming up. I'm Christian Oaks in St. James Parish, where I'll introduce you to one of the state's only tobacco farmers and the second finalist for the Young Farmer and Rancher Achievement Award. That story coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks so much for joining us on this week's program. The U.S. Senate debate on the new Farm Bill will resume after the Memorial Day break. The Senate version of the five-year ag spending bill focuses on enhanced crop insurance programs rather than direct cash payments to farmers. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davison now shows us what that could mean to Louisiana ag producers as well as you, the consumer. Success here on a Louisiana farm could depend heavily upon what men and women decide here in Washington, D.C. Senate debate over the 2013 Farm Bill put Louisiana's number one row crop in the crosshairs, sugarcane. So our policy is a good balance of encouraging domestic production and keeping prices stable and affordable for the consumer. Democratic Senator Mary Landrieu stood up against amendments which would have removed the current no-cost sugar program, which limits sugar imports. We want to promote domestic production of sugar cane. It's a very important uh, industry to our state and um, I've been leading this fight for a long time. While some senators may have had their sights set on changing the nation's sugar policy, Dr. Mike Selassie with the LSU Ag Center says rice will likely be the Louisiana crop most affected by a new farm bill. That's because a new farm bill will not include direct payments to rice farmers. Instead, rice farmers would likely get access to a crop insurance program which would pay when prices go down rather than based upon yields. Because rice is irrigated, yield risk or yield uncertainty is not a big as issue as it is for other crops. It's that price risk, the, the ability of the world market to drive a price down and crop insurance just doesn't do a good job of protecting rice growers when you have a period, not just one year, but a, a two or three year period of low prices. Well, the good news is the Farm Bureau and every farm group in Louisiana is supporting the current version of the Farm Bill before the Senate. Uh, last year, there was a real problem uh, for our 2,000 rice farmers, which is why I voted against the Senate bill last year. And the bill, of course, never made it through the process. Landrew says this bill has her support and is better for Louisiana farmers. Sugar is in a pretty good position. Rice is in a much better position. Uh, cotton and soybean are all generally happy. Our vegetables and some organics that we are uh, growing in Louisiana as well. One of the things that's sort of in play now is that we're writing a farm bill when prices for pretty much all major crops are, are still high. And that's never a good thing because people think Agricultural income is high. We can lower our, our price and income supports for agriculture and, and it, it's not going to really affect them. And so you got to be careful in this time when prices are high, you're writing a farm bill for when prices are low and you got to keep that in mind and keep those protections in. Kyle McCann with the Louisiana Farm Bureau so says he's not it. worried about how the farm bill will look when it comes out of the Senate. He says it's when it gets to the House is when farmers and ranchers really need to keep an eye on Washington. When we get to the House floor, uh, the amendment process over there is going to be much more difficult than what's going on in the Senate. So it's really what amendments will get attached or what, what will pass in the House that could undo that. McCann says there could be cuts to the amount of money the federal government would provide farmers to help pay crop insurance premiums. Regardless, McCann does not seem sure crop insurance would best protect our food supply if farmers had several bad years in a row. Crop insurance is no different than other insurance. It never makes you whole. It never makes you complete. So when you get into a downward spiral, if we got into a long-term low price scenario in addition to some bad weather events, all of that uh, impacts the coverage and the coverage amounts you, you can get to where it doesn't help uh, once those type of events have occurred. And that's why we are always very guarded about crop insurance. And it's why Louisiana farmers, ranchers, and consumers should not let their guard down as the farm bill makes its way through Congress. In Baton Rouge, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture.
The House Agriculture Committee recently approved its version of the Farm Bill. That bill includes deeper cuts to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, better known as food stamps. However, the food stamp program will still cost you, the U.S. taxpayer, $80 billion. That's three times more than all of the farm spending portions of the Farm Bill combined.